are we living in a hologram do you ever have days when you question reality one scientist has gone up further he is currently building an experiment that will hopefully answer whether or not we all exist as a result of a universal hologram you are not alone the holographic universe hypothesis is steeped in a complex mathematics and descriptions that belongs in hard science fiction novels fermi lab particle physicist craig hogan renewed interest in the <coughs> uh in this concept and uh, but do you ever have days when you question reality one the holographic universe hypothesis is steeped in complex mathematics and many of the scientists like craig hogan renewed interest in the holographic universe concept after investigating the noise measured by gravitational wave detector called GEO 600 in Germany before we can understand what this noise is let alone why the universe could be a hologram we need to understand how gravitational wave detectors work According to recent research in the field of quantum physics all of what we know as matter the solid cement of what happens what appears to be what our reality is composed of could be nothing more than quantum fluctuations in the middle of the empty universe so there are many researchers like Cardiff University researchers who are part of British German team searching the depths of space to study gravitational waves may have stumbled on one of the most important discoveries in physics according to an American physicist Craig Hogan a physicist at Fermi Lab Center for particle astrophysics in Illinois is convinced that he has found proof in the data of the gravitational wave detector GE0600 of a holographic universe d and that his ideas could explain mysterious noise in the detector data that has not been explained so far the british german team behind the GE0600 which includes scientists from the school of physics and astronomy's gravitational physics group will now carry out experiment in the coming months to yield more evidence about craig hogan's assumptions if proved correct it would help in the quest to bring together quantum mechanics and einstein's theory einstein's theory of gravity how many dimensions are in the holographic universe scientists are trying to understand the mysteries of the holographic principle how many dimensions are there in our universe some of the world's brightest minds are trying are carrying out research in this area and still have not succeeded so far in creating a unified theory of quantum gravitation is often considered to be 
a great discovery of modern science. Michael Talbot was the author who is author of the several books on hologram and quantum mechanics and their relationship to ancient mysticism and the theoretical model of reality. Talbot explored the works of physicist David Bohm and the neurophysiologist Carl Pribble who independently reached the conclusion that the universe operates on a holographic model. In Talbot's book the holographic universe. Talbot also arrives at this conclusion and maintains that the holographic model might also explain numerous paranormal and unusual phenomena as well as offer a basis for mystical experiences. In 1982, at the University of Paris, a research team led by physicist Alien Aspect performed what may turn out to be one of the most important experiments of the 20th century. Aspect's experiment was related to the ERP experiment, EPR experiment, a consciousness experiment which has been devised by Albert Einstein and his colleagues. Poldisky and Rosen in order to disprove quantum mechanics on the basis of Pauli's exclusion principle contradicting special relativity. Aspect and his team discovered that under certain circumstances, subatomic particles such as electrons are able to instantaneously communicate with each other regardless of the distance separating them. It does not matter whether they are 10 feet or 10 billion miles apart. Somehow each particle always seemed to know what the other was doing. Unlike normal photographs, every part of a hologram contains all the information possessed by the whole. The hole in every part nature of the hologram provides us with an entirely new way of understanding organization and order. For most of its history, Western science has labored under the bias that the best way to understand a physical phenomenon, whether a frog or an atom, is to dissect it and study its respective parts. A hologram teaches us that something in the universe may not lend themselves to this approach. If we try to take, part, take apart something constructed holographically, we will not get the pieces of which it is made. We will only get smaller holes. 
from two television cameras, one directed at the aquarium's front and the other directed at its sides. As you stare at the two turns, the other also makes a slightly different but corresponding turn. When one faces the front, the other always faces towards the side. If you remain unaware of the full scope of the situation, you might even conclude that the fish must be instantaneously communicating with one another. But this clearly is not the case. television monitor, you might assume that the fish on each of the screens are separate entities. After all, because the cameras are set at different angles, each of the images will be slightly different. But as you continue to watch the two fish, you will eventually become aware that there is a certain relationship between them. When one This says boom is precisely what is going on between the subatomic particles in aspects experiment.